first line equipment and today we have the PL41 Anna Espresso Machine made by Lalit. It's a single boiler dual purpose espresso machine similar to the Rancilio Silvia. It has a high 1000 watt heating element and an optimal size boiler which makes for a quicker heat up time and a shorter wait time of going from coffee to steam. On my left is the TEM and on my right is the TQE. They both have a PID and a multi-directional steam wand. The main difference between the two is the TEM has a pressure gauge and the controls are different. These are great value machines for home use. The machine comes with a 57 millimeter dual spout port a filter, a two cup basket, one cup basket, a pod basket, a plastic scoop, and a cheap plastic tamper which we recommend upgrading to a better tamper. The power switch is located in the back of the machine. It takes about five minutes for the boiler to heat to the set temperature and another five minutes for the group head and the porta filter to fully heat. The TQE comes with rocker switches and the TEM comes with toggle switches. The left toggle switch will select the mode you want to use. The right switch will activate the pump. The knob on the right side of the machine opens and closes the steam wand. The down position is for coffee. The middle position is for hot water. The up position is for steam. The water in the boiler will be heated to a higher temperature in order to generate steam. There may be a little water in the steam wand already. Turn the knob to let that water out. Just like most single boiler dual purpose espresso machines, there is no auto refill of the boiler. It is very important to run water through the steam wand after every time you steam. The gauge on the TEM model indicates pump pressure and it ranges from 0 to 16 bar and the optimal range is anywhere between 8 and 11 bar. This is the indicator light that lets you know the machine's ready for use. There's a dot on the PID that indicates the heating element is active. These lights will blink occasionally showing the heating element is pulsing on and off to keep the boiler at a set temperature. The default temperature is in Celsius. If you want to switch it to Fahrenheit, you have to access the PID menu. To access it, power off the machine and hold the up and down buttons and press the power button until the readout reads F.03. From here, you press the up arrow to go into the menu and then use the up and down arrows to change your setting. It will automatically save after two seconds. Once it saves, power off the machine and then power it back on. This is the safety thermostat. If your machine is not heating at all in coffee or steam mode, press down on the red button. This is the overpressure valve for brew pressure. You pull off the hose and using a flathead screwdriver to increase brew pressure, turn the nut clockwise and to decrease turn counterclockwise. Before initial power up of the machine, first fill the reservoir, open the steam valve, insert the wand into a cup, and turn the hot water switch. Then power the unit on and water should exit the wand.
If water doesn't come out within 30 seconds, power down the machine and call your retailer. Now we're going to make a shot of espresso. First you want to make sure your quarter filter is hot to the touch. You want to loosely overfill your porter filter with coffee and scrape off any excess. This is the tamper the machine comes with, but we recommend upgrading to a better tamper like this one from Concept Art. You want to press down evenly using your thumb and pointer as a guide so the top rim of the tamper is even with the top rim of the porter filter. Tap on the edge for any excess coffee and then give another quick polish. The extraction should take anywhere between 5 to 7 seconds. The Anna has very strong steaming capabilities. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you found it informative and if you have any further questions, please contact our sales department or visit our website. Thank you and have a great day.